Hello Libra, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. Now we have here last quarter moon in Aries, work through your feelings. So last quarter moons are about endings to wait, make way for new beginnings. So work through your emotions here and then you'll get come out the other end and there's new things awaiting for you. Full moon in Capricorn, take a reality check. So full moons are things that can push you forward. There's turning points here. So we need to be real about things. We need to be honest with how we're feeling about things, recognise your emotions and do not suppress them. Um, working through them, um, there's honesty could be, uh, um, you know, coming in here. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Now that could be for some of you, that's not for all of you, but it could, there's new opportunities. I feel it's not just romantic though. I think if you're well balanced here, I think new friendships and new opportunities could come forward here. See what the guidance is. If this starts to resonate, please like, share, and subscribe. The Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy, Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, which is overall central energy, the Young Empress, the Chariot, which is Cancer energy. Queen of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Now, what we've got here is we've got a five, and fives are changed, but what this five's about is feeling as if your cup's half empty instead of half full. So there's disappointments, there is feeling left out in the cold, abandonment, however this resonates for you. What we're needing to do is work through these emotions, because we're going to have to put them behind us, because if we stay in this negative emotional place, things won't get any better. We'll just you know, we'll just sit in that energy and things won't improve and we attract more negativity into our lives. Now, this really, this this could be a wake up call for you. This is could be a reality check time. We need to really focus on what we're how we're going to go forward here. So focus on what you have. There's always something you can cling to or somebody that can help you here to bring stability back. These people could seek refuge in the church if they wanted. So let these disappointments go. We have to be real about life. Also, I've got a feeling here, think about what you've achieved up till now, you know, and focus on that. And we need to look to the future here. Definitely look to the future because we need to be making decisions here about a future. So we need to listen to our intuition. There's a conversation that might need to take place here. We might need to seek information, gather information here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy is relevant here. Um, we could be seeking advice, there could be conversations that need to take place. But if we listen to our intuition and put these disappointments behind us, uh, we'll be able to see the way forward here. Now, this is gaining clarity as well for some of you. So like I say, there might be these conversations or advice seeking that needs to be done. But you're going to be making, this is new beginnings and clarity. Um, you're going to be speaking up here and making it clear what it is that you want and how you want to go forward. So major decisions are being made here. Um, with regards to your future. Now, the thing is, we could be cutting people in situations out of life that no longer serve us. So if there's disappointment within relationships, um, it's moving on from any uh, person here. This can be the singles card, you see. It could be jobs as well. We're deciding it's not for you anymore. Um, but we're cutting people in situations out that no longer serve you. So it's a reality check. This is time to face up to your situation here. Work through your emotions, definitely. But this is a wake up call. There's a wake up call here. But you're going to get this. You'll get the clarity you need. Uh, and don't be frightened to speak up and stand your ground. You've got the right to be heard here. And what's going to happen is it's going to move you forward. Now, this can be the singles card for some people, like I have said earlier here. Uh, this is about you standing on your own two feet. It's about becoming empowered. It's about you making well-balanced decisions for your future. Once you make your mind up here, there's no going back. You're going to create beautiful balance in your life. It's about you being your true authentic self. It's moving forward towards your confidence being uh, increased, your self-esteem being restored, making well-balanced decisions, whether it be finances, work, relationships or environments. Um, but you're, you're creating beautiful things for yourself. And it could be to do with your traditional values here that have been challenged. So be your true authentic self here. Uh, don't be frightened to say, uh, you know, speak up. Don't be say, saying yes when you mean no. Uh, be very clear about what it is you're wanting. 
because this is about your traditional values. Now, you could be going back to study. You could be joining new industries. But if you're uh, confident in what you're doing, you could become a good prospect for study courses. People can see that you're well balanced. You're making good decisions for yourself. And it could open up. You know, you could be seen as an attractive prospect, like I say, if you're going for jobs. So this is important. This is overall central energy here. So, you know, you've got to come into your own here, stand up for yourself, stand on your own two feet. Now, you don't have to be single to be doing this. But what we're doing is, you know, what you're doing here is making decisions about your future. And you can be supported by family, friends, partners. But it's about being feeling stable again, bringing that stability back, nurturing a situation here in a very well balanced way is going to make you feel secure. You could also be creating great home comforts. And this could be a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy that supports you at this time. So it's important here that we speak up. We, we, we have, this is a wake up call and we move forward with clarity. We communicate clearly. We gather the information that's needed to give us that mental clarity to move on because your ships are going to come in. It's about you focusing on things that you are important to you here. So it's about working on things. Focusing, don't be distracted by all the nonsense. This is a reality check. You're focusing on what you have. This could also be you deciding as well that if you've been passed over for promotion, you might want to educate yourself, get more education, or you might want to take your skills elsewhere in relation to work. Uh, but this is about working on relationships, finances, works, or environments. And when you focus, your ships will come in. You will get through this challenging time. And it's about, like I say, looking to the future. You might have ideas. You've got an idea of what you want to do. Do it. Make these decisions. Go for it. You could stand on this shore forever or you could get on that boat. That's what I always say. There's something you have to work through here. You definitely have to work through your disappointments and your let downs. But once you've done that, it's a reality check for you. And um, you're definitely going to go forward to more prosperous things. You're going to make the right decisions. You're going to get the clarity you need and you're going to move on. There's better things ahead. Better times ahead, definitely. Meditate. Meditate. Reconnect with your inner spirit. Walk, practice yoga, meditate or listen to music. Now do something you enjoy here. It grounds you, most definitely. Animals. Animals. Animals are important to you. Animals heal, comfort and relax you. Now, the, the always with animals is the word loyalty that comes to mind for me. So that might be relevant for some of you as well, the word loyalty. Um, so I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.